welcome to another segment of Bella TV. My name is Jennifer, and today I am joined by Lawrence Cow, uh, actor, dancer, uh, crazy cool martial artist in uh, Netflix's series um, Wu Assassins, which just actually turned into a movie, which is what we're going to talk about. Lawrence, welcome to Bella TV. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Of course. I wouldn't say I'm a martial artist. Well, but, you know, I try and I move around. It looks good. So it looks good, though. Yeah. Hopefully. It looks good. <laughs> uh, but actually, what I want to start with before we get into acting is you also have a background in dance. Um, you were on MTV's America's Best Dance Crew. So tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all, and then kind of how you got into dance and acting. Uh, well, I started acting in um, in high school, um, the my junior year of high school, and then um, I I studied it in college at UC Irvine. But while I was doing that, um, I just noticed that there were so many like hip hop choreography groups in Orange County, and that fascinated me. And I just you know it just sparked my interest, and I just gradually really like got into it. And throughout college, I just spent a good amount of time just uh, dancing with friends and just trying to get better. And um, over the course of four years, um, our, uh, our our dance team, Kaba Modern at UC Irvine was able to go onto MTV's America's Best Dance Crew. And then, um, yeah, we got to do the show. It was, it was fun, it was amazing. I, I You know, it's interesting because I've been acting for a while now and I did it before dance but dance is what actually got me onto the TV um, screen at first on MTV. I love that very cool. Do you prefer one to the other dance or acting? Uh, definitely acting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah acting for sure. Yeah. Awesome. So tell our viewers um, I guess just a little background on Wu Assassins the show and your character. Um, so the show, if you're going to jump into the movie Fistful of Vengeance, you don't necessarily need to watch the first season, but I can break it down for you guys. And uh, in the first season, pretty much one of my good friends, Kai, played by Eco Wise, is uh, granted these powers. And long, long story short, he uses it to, you know, potentially save the world. And then him and then uh, a bunch of our close friends we realize that, you know, we have a lot of responsibility and then we just go through the ups and downs of trying to save the world. Uh, and my character is pretty much the up of the group. Um, he's, a, he's a heroin addict and he's just trying to like, he's not fighting at all. The only thing he's fighting is, is his heroin addiction. And so he's just, um, you know, he believes that negative things that people say about him and then he continues to downward spiral but but once he realizes that he wasn't responsible for, for a specific thing that happened in the past he realizes that he can you know do better for the world and for his friends and the people around him yeah well the movie looks very cool so you filmed it in thailand correct yeah and what was that? yeah we filmed in bangkok um it was it was amazing. We found the perfect we just we found the perfect um, time when COVID wasn't rampant in in Thailand, and it was just the perfect pocket to squeeze us in there. We went in and we went out like we 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 I think we went in in January. We did some um, uh, stunt training for maybe a month and a half, and then we shot for. I guess production was probably a little less than a month. And I, I think we did a really good job squeezing everything in um, yeah. with the amount of time that we had. Yeah, I mean, Thailand looks beautiful. Um, I have never been, but I'm sure that the filming process was very cool there. Yeah, you gotta go. Like I've never been before too. It was my first time and I was just blown away. It was like a mini, it was a vacation, you know? And you know, I love my work and, I just, I just love being on set and being on set on in a place like, like Thailand is just, it's pretty insane. Yeah. And it was a good time. So do you think your background in dance helps with 
the martial arts that you do in the movie. I would imagine they kind of tie into each other a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Totally, totally. I mean, um, I mean, all all it is is pretty much choreography, right? And so you're learning steps and you know um, how to parry moves, how to dodge specific things. But I think the, the the only I guess the only difference is that there's just so much more story when you're doing like a um, and context when you're doing martial arts for film or for TV, you know. So it's just um, it's cool to embody that energy in the character and do the movement at the same time. I mean, in, in dance, obviously there's a story too, you know, there's a story from the music and, you know, the emotion that's brought, brought out. But, you know, it, when, you're, when you're fighting, um, the circumstances are so high and, you know, it's, a, it, it's an intense experience. Yeah. Well, I mean, besides- And just doing take after take, it's just, yeah, it's, a, it's right. exhausting. Yeah, I'm sure. And I mean, besides obviously Wu Assassins and Fistful of Vengeance, mm -hmm. Um, you've been in a bunch of other stuff as well. The original, uh, The Walking Dead. Do you have a favorite kind of character you like to play or genre you like to act in? Something to like sink my teeth in. I like that. You know, I also do love comedy, you know, and, and so like, I would love to venture into um, that territory as well. Very cool. Well, so the movie comes out when? February 17th on Netflix. Awesome. Well, I can't yeah, wait to- Yeah, it'll be, I, I, yeah, just- on Netflix, yeah. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, but let everyone know where they, besides going to Netflix and catching the movie once it is out, let everyone know where they can follow along with you. Do you have any other cool projects coming up that you can tell us about? Um, so I wrote a movie with my buddy, um, uh, Brad, and um, we've been writing this movie for about five years and uh, we finally got um, financing for it. So we're gonna go into production in July. So fingers crossed. Um, hopefully we'll be able to make a movie and something I wrote um, by the end of this year. Very cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. All right. So let everyone know where they can uh, follow along with you, any handles, website, and then where we can catch more. Uh, you can follow me on all social media platforms at I, at I am Lawrence Cow. And uh, my website is IamLawrenceCow.com. Simple. Okay. Very cool. Well, thank you, Lawrence, for joining us. Um, I can't wait to see the movie and, and everything else that you have in store. Awesome. Thank you. It was nice okay. meeting you. Bye-bye. Thank you.